Joyce, right now I'm outside of Mohai, which is where the mayor held that stay the city address today. He spoke for an hour on a variety of topics, including two of his priorities, which is increasing public safety and addressing the fentanyl crisis. Inside a place that showcases Seattle's innovation, <laughs> Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell says more new ideas are coming. Over the last several years, despite hardships and challenges, We've pushed forward. One of the new ideas already being carried out is the city's new care department, established in October. The mayor said the department has responded to around 250 911 calls regarding behavioral health, and in only three of those cases, police had to assist. This work frees up our police officers to address emergencies and priority one situations. The mayor says police staffing is a top priority as the department faces its lowest level in at least five years, while the number of homicides hit a record in 2023. Homicides and the damage inflicted from gun violence have increased. We have to change this. Last year, the city made public drug use a gross misdemeanor. The mayor said SPD seized around 2 million fentanyl pills last year and diverted around 150 people to service providers to get help outside the criminal legal system. We brought together law enforcement, service providers, outreach workers, impact communities, experts, and we built the most comprehensive and progressive ordinance of its kind in the state. And he said more help is coming. Next month, we'll share the details of our $7 million investment funding a post-overdose center and health facilities that will offer new ways to help people recover in their time of need. The mayor shared his appreciation for the new city council's focus on public safety. Council President Sarah Nelson says city leaders are united. Having the mayor, the executive and, and the legislative branches together on their top priorities, that's what's going to make all the difference. The mayor also addressed affordable housing. He said that 1,400 new units opened last year and that more than 7,000 are in the pipeline now, Joyce. The mayor also shared some comments, Connor, that basketball fans are going to be excited about. The mayor did say that bringing back the Sonics is a part of the downtown activation plan. He said the NBA is already playing preseason games in Climate Pledge Arena and that the city stands ready to bring back the green and gold. So we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Back to you, Joyce. We've been waiting a long time, so it would be amazing if it happened. Connor, thank you.